Hey guys, welcome back. Today I'm sharing with you how to make masoor dal tadka using whole masoor dal also known as brown lentils or sabut masoor dal and this is going to be a one pot recipe as I'm going to make this in the instant pot from start to finish but you can also do exactly the same thing using a regular pressure cooker whatever you prefer. So let's get started. Here I've taken one cup of whole masoor dal which makes enough for about six people. Start with properly washing the dal. Then strain out any excess water and set aside. I personally don't find any need to soak the masoor dal, especially when I'm going to pressure cook it later. So I don't pre-soak it. Now turn on the instant pot on saute mode normal and add three to four tablespoons of oil and lightly heat it up. Then to the oil first add the whole spices a bay leaf and about an inch long cinnamon stick and lightly roast it for a few seconds. Then add a teaspoon of cumin seeds and lightly roast for a few more seconds. And then add two tablespoons each of chopped ginger and garlic and lightly roast for a couple of minutes till they start to change color. After which add one chopped green chili and lightly roast it for a few seconds. Then add in two cups of chopped onions and about a teaspoon of salt or to taste and saute till the onions soften and turn translucent. This will take about seven to eight minutes. There's no need to brown the onions for this recipe. When the onions are done add in the spice powders about a tablespoon each of garam masala and coriander powder and half a tablespoon of cumin powder and about half a teaspoon of haldi or turmeric powder. Mix them in and at this point it's best to also add a splash of water to avoid the spices from getting burnt and saute for a few more seconds just until the spices get lightly roasted. And then add in the tomato puree made from about two small tomatoes. You can also go with chopped tomatoes. I just prefer the puree because it does a good job of binding the curry together. And also my son really doesn't like to see tomato in his curries so well. Also here you only need to cook the tomatoes for a couple of minutes to help bind the curry paste together. Then turn off the instant pot saute mode. And now add in the masoor dal that was set aside earlier. Along with 3 cups of water as masoor really absorbs a lot of water and another teaspoon of salt or to taste. Then give everything a quick mix. And then attach the instant pot lid ensuring it's sealed. And pressure cook for 20 minutes on high. After which let all the pressure release naturally from the pot. 20 minutes works perfectly for masoor dal for it to get properly cooked and so that it still holds form but can also be easily smushed between two fingers. That's usually what I look for. And if you look at the consistency of dal, this is on the thicker side. As like I said earlier, masoor absorbs a lot of water but it works if you want to serve it with say rotis or chapatis. However, if you prefer a more flowing dal in general or to be able to pair it with rice, then you can also thin out the dal a bit with water. I usually thin it out with about half a cup of water and also add about half a teaspoon of salt to taste. You can taste for salt and adjust based on your preferences. But if you are adding water, it's best to always add hot water to maintain the temperature of the dal that is hot. Then finally just add half to 3 fourth cup of fresh chopped coriander leaves. Mix it in and done. Masoor dal tadka is ready to serve. Pair it with rotis or rice based on your preferences and enjoy. For the written and printable version of this recipe, check the link in the description box below. And if you like this video, please hit the like button at the bottom of this video. It really helps me out. And subscribe if you haven't already. Until I see you again, happy cooking!